trust me, you'll love this. Check this out. This clip here has been color graded and it has a dynamic zoom, whereas this clip here has neither of those things. But I want to replace part of this clip with this one, but keep all of the attributes. Ready for it? Bing! Done. That clip now has the dynamic zoom, and if we jump over to the color page, it's got the color grade applied as well. Magic, huh? Huh? Not sold? Still not sold. All right. Um, how's about this? So I've keyframed this song, as you can see here, to perfectly fit my video. But now I've changed my mind and I want to replace it with a different song, but keep all those keyframes. Ready for it? Ding. Done. Different song. Same keyframes. Eh? Eh? Awesome? No? Tough crowd. All right. One last example. One more. So I've got this image here. It's a PNG. I've animated it. I've got a drop shadow on there. I'm happy with it. Looks cool. And I want to replicate it later on, but with a different image. So all I'm going to do, we'll make a quick duplicate of it. Give it a click. We'll hit my magic button. Now it's been replaced with a different image, but it still has my animation, my drop shadow and everything else already applied. Hey, and that, ladies and gents, drum roll. It's called the Replace Tool, which by default is assigned to the F11 keyboard shortcut. Now, it's obvious really, Replace, that's exactly what it does, but as you can see, it is crazy useful. So, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. Now before we get into it though, please just let me take 20 seconds of your very valuable time to thank this video sponsor, Scan Pro Video. Scan Pro Video is one of the UK's leading providers of equipment for professional video productions. Need a DaVinci Resolve license? They've got them. Need an NVIDIA Studio laptop? They're the place. What about a drone? They've got them too. Whatever you need, Scan Pro Video has you covered. So click on the link down below to go see for yourself. Well, hey, right, let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are on the edit page. And the first example we're going to look at is replacing this audio track down here, this song. So as you can see, it's been keyframed. We want to keep those, but just replace it with a different song. So all we need to do, first of all, grab your playhead and put it at the very beginning of the thing you wish to replace. So I'm putting my playhead at the far left of my timeline like so. Then from our media pool, let's select a different song. So I'm just going to double click on this audio track here so that it's selected. Then the next step is key and it's the bit that people most often miss. You need to set your destination track. So on our timeline down here, you can see audio one has got this little red box around it. That's telling us that audio track number one is our destination track. If we try to do the replace, it would happen on this track, which would overwrite my main audio rather than this song down here. So we need to change our destination. To do that, really simple, you just click on A2 or A3, whichever track it is, to make that the destination track. Confusingly, when you click it, it will then say A1, which is weird, I don't know why, but just look out for the red box. Once that's done, you're ready to do your replace. Now there's three different ways that you can actually do the replace. There's a keyboard shortcut of F11. Our music is still selected, our destination track is done, our playhead is in the right place, so if I hit F11, let's watch this music track down here, ping, it's changed, job done. We've still got our keyframes, but we've replaced the music with something else. Let's select a different song, and this time what we're going to do is use this icon instead. This is replace as well, and she's going to do the same thing. Now let's do one more. For this method, what we're going to do, grab a completely different track from the media pool and drag over to the preview window. You get this little menu up here, then we're going to go to replace, and it's just going to do that replacement as well. Now let's do the same thing again on this. So this is my animation, but I want to replace this image with something else. So this is currently just a PNG. So it works in exactly the same way, but we just have to make sure we set a destination video track rather than destination audio. So I'll put my playhead in the right place. I'm going to double click on my PNG, my new one from within the media pool. You can see my video one has got the red box, whereas my PNG is actually on video two. So we're gonna click on V2. And now we're ready to do the replacement. And there we go, replacement done. 
If you're looking to replace audio and video, it works in the same way, you just need to make sure you select both destination tracks. So I've got this video down here. I want to replace this with something else. So let's grab a different one from the media pool. This one will do. Once you've selected video and audio from the media pool, i.e. you have a video which has audio already on it, like my video does, you'll get a red box on a video track and a red box on an audio track. So then I say, right, I want my replace to be on V1 and A1, hit F11, and job done. That video is a bit short, but you get the idea. It's popped in there and it's replaced what was already there. If I only wanted to the replacement to occur on the video, not the audio, what you can do, just click on A1 once again, and it will gray it out. Then if I hit F11, it's only gonna bring in the video and not the audio. Now for that last example, where you do it all directly on the timeline, this clip down here, this has got the dynamic zoom and the color grade applied whereas this one here has nothing at all. So this is slightly odd. What you need to do, make sure that it's not selected. So the new clip, so my one here, the one I want to drag down onto this other track, is currently selected, it's highlighted in red. Make sure it's not red by just clicking anywhere else on your timeline, then hold control on your keyboard, click and drag, and that's it. Now that replacement has occurred on the timeline, you can see this clip now has a dynamic zoom, and if we hop onto the color page, the grade has been applied. So let me just show you that real quickly once more. Let's bring a new video in, make sure it's not selected, hold control, click, drag down, easy peasy, done. And that's the replace tool. That's been 5 Minute Fridays. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you next week for more DaVinci Resolve goodness. See ya.